My name is Sarah Moffat. And I'm Peter Beard. And together we lead Pastoral Life and Mission for the Archdiocese of Adelaide. Thank you for taking part in this session today. Your insight is important to the overall journey of discernment we are on as a diocesan family. Today, you're invited to spend some time looking at the recommendations that were developed at the 2021 Diocesan Assembly, and also to provide feedback about which of those recommendations you think should be the highest priority for the whole diocese, for your own parish, community, school, and agency. This session is part of much, a much bigger movement in the Catholic Church, something that Pope Francis has been talking about since 2015 the movement towards becoming a more synodal church. A synodal church is a church which listens, which realizes that listening is more than simply hearing. It's a mutual listening in which everyone has something to learn. The faithful people, the College of Bishops, the Bishop of Rome, all listening to each other and all listening to the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of Truth, in order to know what he says to the churches. In essence, the word synodal means together on the way. It's a way of being church that is more participatory, communal and mission focused. When it comes to making decisions, synodality requires us to be open to what others have to say, to listen deeply and discern together what the Holy Spirit is doing or saying through us together. We've been on this path for a few years with the Fifth Australian Plenary Council, which will conclude in July, We've also been invited into this way of being church in preparation for the 2023 International Synod in Rome in October 2023. And that will be focused on the theme of synodality. For both of these gatherings, the organizers have sought wide consultation with the entire people of God and people of goodwill, most everybody in the world, through listening and dialogue in order to develop the agendas and make decisions for the church. Closer to home in the Archdiocese of Adelaide, parishes, schools, communities and Catholic agencies have participated in these consultations. We have also engaged in our own journey through the Dawson Assembly and the Dawson Pastoral Council. Many of the communities in the Archdiocese have also engaged in whole community listening and decision making. Last year at the 2021 Diocesan Assembly, over 450 people from parishes, schools, communities, and agencies gathered for a few days at Cabra Dominican College to reflect on the consultations, to pray, and discern recommendations for the diocese and the many communities that make up the Archdiocese of Adelaide. 225 recommendations were developed out of these discussions. At the closing of the Dawson Assembly, participants were asked to return to their communities to reflect and provide feedback on those recommendations. That's what we are here to do today. The process will be fairly simple. First, you'll take a few minutes to read through the recommendations. You're invited to place a tick in the C column next to the recommendations that you think are a priority for your community. Then, place a tick in the D column next to the recommendations that you think are a priority for the entire diocese. Next, choose your top three recommendations in each column and use the reflection questions to, to guide your personal discernment. Then, you will have a discussion with a small group. Talk about your top three priorities for the community and for the diocese. What are the similarities you share? What are the differences? Is there anything missing? As a group, decide which are the top priorities for your community and which the diocese should focus on. If there are multiple groups in your gathering today, each group will share their top priorities. Once all of the groups have finished sharing, the large group will need to come to some consensus about your top three priorities for your community and also your top three priorities for the diocese. These will be recorded and sent to the Archdiocese. Your feedback will assist the Interim Dawson Pastoral Council to develop key priorities and actions for the Archdiocese. In August, we will supply your community with another resource that will assist you to develop strategies to address the top priorities for your community. Your planning will be included in the agenda for the next Dawson Assembly in October this year. Thank you once again for taking time today to participate in this feedback process. Let us pray for one another and the many communities of our Dawson family. 
We look forward to hearing what the Spirit is saying to us through your discernment.